everybody. Today we're going to Pinckney Island. It's a great place for a day hike, so let's go explore. But before that, I want to let you know, I've been living here since 96 and know a lot of the great places to do things like this. We love nature, so let's go ahead and get to it. Located between the mainland Bluffton and Hilton Head Island, it's convenient for all. Pinckney Island is the place that you see flowers first here in the low country. Looking for a fun and unique activity in Hilton Head for the whole family? Well, look no further than Pinckney Island National Wildlife Refuge. Although there's no zoo on Hilton Head Island, Pinckney offers visitors a chance to see wildlife in their natural habitats. Across 4,053 acres of land, the refuge is home to a variety of animals, including alligators, turtles, deer, as well as 250 bird species, so you're going to catch a glimpse of something interesting during your visit. I always see birders with enormous lenses, bikers, hikers, joggers, and families. Try to look at the trees and not just the forest, and don't forget to look up. But, man's best friend is not allowed, leash or no leash. And there are no restrooms, so make sure you take care of business before you get there. Parking seems to fill up by 11 o'clock, so keep that in mind. The Natural Wildlife Refuge was named after Major General Charles Coatsworth Pinckney. It was established to provide a preserve for conservation and a place for the public to view nature. There have been 115 prehistoric and historic sites identified. Human inhabitants go back roughly between 8,000 and 1,000 BC. The French and Spanish occupied the island between 1500 and 1600, but a permanent settlement wasn't established until 1708. Pinckney Island offers 14 miles of hiking, biking trails that wind through the ponds, marshes, and forests. The white ibis and painted bunning and endangered species are just a few wildlife species you might spot. Visitors love the peaceful nature. Once you start walking, it's easy to start getting lost in all the beauty and fellow park visitors tend to spread out and they're only seen sporadically. Remember to come prepared with a hat, sunscreen, and insect repellent as shade is limited. Keep in mind vehicle access is not permitted in the refuge and visitors must either walk or bike once inside. It is also important to respect the animals by not feeding harassing them. Plus, you don't want an alligator to eat you. Located between Hilton Head and Bluffton, Pinckney Island Wildlife Refuge is open daily from sunrise to sunset and is free of charge. Don't forget to download the trail map from my YouTube description if you're thinking about going, and I do recommend it. You also might like helicopter video tour so check it out action oh. no uh so much for tarzan <laughs> 